uh, credibility how much they dedicate to their schools. You have to be there to know that they live this day in and day out. And he does a 76.50 dive in the last round. That's his highest scoring dive. So he's putting the pressure on the top three spots. He was in sixth place. That put him up into one of the top three spots at the time. But the best guys that were ahead of him followed immediately. And now Noah Vigran of Stanford in second place, heading into his last dive. Doing his hardest dive, highest degree of difficulty dive. Oh, very nice. That's his best dive. And that takes him into the first spot temporarily. As it was, he scored over 80 points, but it's not possible for him to catch Connor Casey if he had even received tens on that dive, which would be the max from the judges. He still would be in second place to Connor Casey, who does just really needs a respectable dive to win this competition because he picked up so many points in round five. This is his final dive once again his highest degree of difficulty dive. The sophomore from Stanford has gotten so much better in the last year, much more balanced. And as Coach Patrick Jeffrey said, they've changed so many things in his takeoffs. Let's watch his takeoff right here. Wow. That dive a forward two and a half with three twists. And his takeoff can even be better. It's not scoring as high as his fifth round dive, which is what really put him out of range to the rest of the competitors. But it's enough for him to stay in first place by a whole bunch of points. Nobody can catch him because of the points he scored in round five. And that is certainly a terrific dive, but not as good as that. 89.30 point dive he did in round five. So it'll be back to back three meter championships for Connor Casey. Henry Fasaro trying to dive his way onto the podium in third place heading into his final dive. What a beautiful job by Henry Fasaro, the senior from USC. He needed, needed eights to go into second place. He receives seven and a halves on this dive and we saw his feet just come apart a little bit judges take off a half a point maybe a point for that so it put him kept him in third so connor casey and noah vigran of stanford go one and two then henry fasaro finishes in third 